Now let's also talk about what role does V cluster control plane play in making this setup possible? Yeah, the V cluster control plane uh, from day one was a control plane running inside a container, right? So if you spin up a V cluster, you kind of need a cluster to start with in order to run your first V cluster. So we assume you already have some kind of Kubernetes cluster, whether that's Minikube or Docker desktop on your local machine or an EKS cluster or an OpenShift cluster, whatever environment you have, we kind of assume you have a Kubernetes cluster. You can spin up a pod that now runs a vCluster control plane. Um, however, some of our customers have also asked for, you know, can't you run a full-blown cluster without any prerequisites? requisites, right? Can you run directly on this set of VMs, right? Just like, you know, K3S, RK2, OpenShift, right? You can just launch them directly on a set of bare metal machines or VMs. And that's actually the exciting announcement that we're planning for October. So October 1st, we are announcing the cost of standalone, and that will essentially provide the answer to the to this question that, that came up a bunch of times in our customer base. I also noticed that the sinker gets disabled in this model. Why is that important and what does it mean for users? So the sinker has been an essential part of the cluster from day one. It effectively syncs parts from the vCluster's context down to what we call the host cluster, that underlying cluster where the vCluster control plane runs inside of. And um so far, when you want to reuse nodes from, from the underlying cluster, that's a great approach. However, if you're using private nodes, you now have nodes directly available to the vCluster. So pods don't need to be synced to the host cluster in order to be scheduled by the scheduler of that host cluster. Instead, if you only have private nodes in this vCluster, you can turn off the synker entirely. And then you can have the vCluster just run a regular Kubernetes scheduler or any kind of specialized scheduler, right? So if you are in AI land and you're scheduling, um, you know, inference or training workloads, right? You might you might have uh, run AI's uh, highly um, efficient scheduler or you run things like Volcano, for example, in the open source space. Um, and then effectively your vCluster scheduler or any of these specialized schedulers can directly schedule pods on the private nodes. So no syncing is required when you're using vCluster with private nodes and by extension vCluster with auto nodes as well. 